may not be hard for you to believe, but it was one DeJounte Murray. Obviously got traded a couple weeks back to the New Orleans Pelicans after the Trey Young DeJounte Murray experiment clearly didn't work after two seasons and he is now with the Pelicans. So he was doing an interview for Pelican social media. They posted it on their social media platform afterwards. So he was doing an interview basically for the team. So this is this audio is courtesy of the New Orleans Pelicans themselves. But he was asked about, you know, how he what he values and talking about liking defense over offense. Just just take a listen. He throws some shots without naming names. I value uh, just playing the right way. And playing the right way is, you know, defense wins championships. Obviously, you got to score the basketball, too. But uh, just it's something for me, like, when I know I'm playing defense, but also you got a group of guys playing defense, it's just... It's just something you can't teach. Uh, and the feeling of that is just knowing that we're competing on who's guarding the best guy or you knowing that, you know, you got your teammates back. Uh, that's important. So, you know, I love defense, uh, you know, but it's, it's a team thing. You can have one guy playing defense or two and the rest not, and nothing happens. So, you know, I'm excited to come. Like I said, this group all competes. Everybody wants to defend. Everybody wants to share the ball. You know, I pay attention to everything. Mmm. You can have one guy playing defense or two and nothing's going to happen. And look, this might have just been him saying good things about his teammates and not necessarily taking shots, but also when he said everybody on this team cares about playing defense, maybe some subtle shots. Look, we may be reading into it too much. That could definitely be a thing, but... The one guy or two play could play defense and the rest none and nothing's going to happen. That one seemed like it definitely could have hit home a little bit. But look, you can let me know at underscore Dylan Matthews if you think DeJounte Murray, former Atlanta Hawk, was throwing some shade at, you know, maybe a Trey Young and maybe some of his other teammates about the way they did or did not play defense but I will say this Trey Young's defense to me has improved over the last couple of years and I think that is mainly because his effort on defense has gotten better and plus you know he's becoming older he's learning the the little tricks of the trade now that he's a veteran in the NBA so I think that is part of the reason as well but yeah, definitely sounded like maybe some shots were fired from DeJounte Murray and again we could be looking a little too deep into it, but there might have been some underlying shots in that statement. There might have been some people where he didn't have to say the names, but those people or that person knew that he was talking about them. But look, at the end of the day, DeJounte Murray, he was maybe along with DeAndre Hunter and Clint Capella, I think, tried, but he just wasn't the shot blocker he was anymore. I mean, they were the main defenders. Sadiq Bey was solid on defense, too, but obviously he got hurt. And look, I can see why DeJounte Murray would be frustrated about how things didn't work out in Atlanta. It seemed like he, it seemed like he really wanted things to work out, and it seemed like he definitely took more of a backseat role to come to Atlanta. Now, I don't know if he thought the role was going to be, you know, quite the, the backseat it was, but I can see why he would be, you know, a little frustrated about how things ended in, in Atlanta because look, at, at times, the, even when DeJounte Murray was in the lineup, and look, I'm not going to say DeJounte Murray is blameless, you know, I, maybe he could have done more, a little bit more defensively, but even with DeJounte Murray in the lineup, this Atlanta Hawks team, when they were nearly fully healthy, they were still giving up 120 points a game. Maybe even a little bit more. Maybe around 122, 125. So, if he was shading the Hawks a little bit there, you see where he's coming from. But still, go live your life, DeJounte. Go be with the Pelicans. And I actually think the Pelicans adding DeJounte Murray is a great move. I wish we could have 
got a guy like Brandon Ingram out of it, but it seemed like as far as what the word on the street is that they didn't want a guy like Brandon Ingram uh, in return for whatever reason. Why, I don't know. Maybe they feel like he'll take the ball out of Trey Young's hands too much and it'll maybe be the same effect to where him and, Dejan him and DeJounte Murray weren't as good on the floor and they think maybe the same thing would happen with Trey Young and Brandon Ingram. I don't personally feel that way. I think Trey could set Brandon up in his spots and get him good spots and get him good shots. But anywho, again, conversation for another day. But I did think those were uh, interesting comments from DeJounte. And I do wonder if we'll maybe before the season starts or maybe even once the season gets going, if we hear anything else come out about DeJounte's time in Atlanta and we hear anything else from DeJounte himself about how he feels about his time in Atlanta. So it'll be uh, all interesting to hear that and see if anything else comes out about that. But I did think maybe a, a shot or two was taken. Maybe some, again, some real, real underlying shots. Nothing egregious, obviously. Nothing that I'm or you should be necessarily mad about. But it's like, oh, okay. <laughs> that's That's maybe how he feels a little bit. So. It is what it is. It is the Hometown Take with your boy Dylan Matthews. Happy good over the hump day to you. We were just talking about the DeJounte Murray comments that he made, and it seemed like he was maybe taking some shots at his former team and maybe even some former teammates, maybe even one, Trey Young.